a double garage has a sloping roof as shown in the diagram. So this is a double garage and this is a sloping roof. Okay. Uh, what is given? Okay. So this is 135 degree. This is 8 meters. This is 3 meters. The two sections has the two sections of the roof meet at an angle of 135. So these are the two uh, roofs meeting at an angle of 135. Calculate the height of the top of the roof above the ground. So you want to find the height from year to year. So let me draw a straight line. So this is so this is your ground. So this is your ground. Okay. And uh, so let me draw a line like this so that you can see. Okay. So let me drag this slightly up. Okay. And drop this slightly down. Okay, so the question is, what is this height? This is your question. This is x, okay? Or that's the height you want to find. Okay, so what I'm, so we already know that this height is three meters from year to year, is three meters. So if you can find this height, okay, if you can find this height, say, let me call that say h, okay. So your x would be 3 plus h. Okay, 3 plus h would be your height. So the question is, can we find this track? This this much. Okay. So here yeah, you can do in different ways. So this is a right angle. So the same thing, the height from year to year is the same as the height from year to year. Okay, so can we find this height? So let me draw this. Suppose let me name this triangle. This is the triangle in focus. So this is triangle A, B, C. So let me draw this triangle out here, a sketch of that. So this is triangle A, B, C. Okay, so this is triangle A, B, C. Okay, so I'm going to drop a right angle to the base or to the roof or this is to this line A, C. So this is the right angle. And we know that these two sides are equal. Okay. And so if this this height, this length is 8 meters. This length is 8 meters. I hope you understand using geometry. This would be, let me change color. So this, so this is, say, this is D. Okay, this point is D. So you can say, understand that this is 4 meters. This would be 4 meters and this would also be 4 meters. Okay. Now we know this whole angle is 135. The okay, angle ABC is 135, so that would be half of this much would be half of 135. So let me use my calculator. Cancel. So 135 divided by 2, which is 67.5. So this angle is 67.5 degrees. This is 67.5 degrees, and this would also be 67.5 degrees. 0.5 degrees. Okay, so the question is we want to find this H. So let me cancel this so that you can see. So this is your H. And so you want to find H here. Okay, so now we use, we have to use Soka Chowa. So let us label the side. So for this angle, so this I'm naming this is a alpha okay this is angle alpha with respect to this angle alpha this is your opposite side and this is your adjacent side so you've got three options you have to use either so ka or toa so ka toa so you're dealing with opposite and adjacent so which trig ratio should i use so toa tells use me Okay, because O, TOA uses O and A. So the next step is to draw the SO triangle. Sorry, TO triangle, TOA triangle. Okay, the formula is tan is opposite over tan of an angle. So this is, in fact, the formula. So let me write tan alpha is opposite over adjacent. This is the formula. And you write this in like this, T, O, A. T for tan alpha opposite over, can you see it's opposite over adjacent. 
So I want to find I want to find adjacent here. I want to find the adjacent. So adjacent here. So I should use a capital letter so it doesn't matter. So A adjacent is O divided by T. O divided by T here. Yeah. Okay. So your O is so O is sorry A your A is your H. So in place of A I can put H is equal to O. What is O? O is 4 meters. So I can write 4 meters divided by T. T stands for tan of the angle. Tan of 67.5. So this is why you, if you draw this triangle you'll never go wrong. If you had to find O you will multiply this. Okay. Tan is opposite divided by this, this line is the, you can take this line as a division line, okay? And if you want to find A, you have to go O divided by T. The order is very important. So let me get the calculator out. Okay, so let me cancel this. Okay, so in this calculator, we have to press 67.5 first. So this is already set in degrees. So 67.5, 10, where is 10? So can you see this is 10, 67.5 is this number divided by, this is the divided by, sorry, I have changed the order. I have to go 4 divided by 67.10, 10, 67.5. So 67.5, 10. Okay, uh, this is, can you see this is 4 divided by 10 in degrees, 67.5 equal. That is 1.66, rounding in 2 dps, it is 1.66 meters. So you can say h, and this is 1.66 meters. So, but the question is, the height of the top of the roof above the ground. So we want to find x, so x would be 3 plus 1.66. So the final answer is 4.66 meters. And this answer is rounded in 2 dp. So this is in 2 dp. So you can see the height of the roof above the ground is 4.66 meters.